Hello boys and girls, welcome to Jabu Lani's Playhouse. I'm Jabu and I'm Lani and we got some fun toys today, don't we Jabu? We sure do, this is a transforming robot. It's T3 and it transforms into three solar robots so apparently moves just with uh, solar energy, hey? Wow Jabu, that sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. We should check it out, hey? I think we should. Come on boys and girls. There you go, there's an overview of it. This is a Dr. Toy winner, best vacation children's products transforming t3 three solar robots and it's solar power build your own three solar robots let's take a close-up look wow so it uh, transforms a robot that looks like a scorpion and that looks like a tank hey wow jabu this looks like it'll be a lot of fun i think so wow check it out transforming three solar robots t3 that's cool. Three solar robots. Wow, there's a mini solar kit family. They've got attacking inchworm, valiant viking ship, the solar system, happy hopping frog, flapping seagull, super solar race car, solar bullet train, a six in one educational solar kit. Wow. And there's an aerial cable car. This overview of the back. Late nights and too much coffee have inspired Aoi's Geek Squad designers to unleash the cranial creativity in the form of a multifunctional transforming solar robot kit. T3 is an intelligent mobile kit that requires no fossil fuel, no batteries. Its animated movements are activated by nature's gift of sunshine. T3 easily transforms into three intergalactic designs, tank, robot, and scorpion. Easy instructions and basic building skills are all that's needed for young science fiction buffs to see the benefits of solar energy before their very eyes. Eco-friendly eco and transforming friendly. Oh yeah, T3. It's pattern pending. See, that's what we were reading all up here. Wow. So you got scorpion mode, tank mode, robot mode, solar panel included. Wow, that'll be fun. Build it yourself and moves. Hey, you can see down there. Wow, this is going to be fun for experimenters with limited experience in assembling mechanical kits. So at ages 10 plus, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's open it, Jabu. Great idea. Okay, let's see what we got inside here. Aha, all sorts of goodies. Put it all out. Uh -huh. The box is empty now. There's our kit. Okay. This is going to be fun. Take a closer look at this here. Eh? Wow. Look at all these little pieces. Plastic bags can be dangerous, of course. We know that. And here's the owner manual and assembly instructions. Wow. Tools you may need. Mechanical parts list, mechanical assembly, scorpion mode, tank mode, decoration is time to have some fun. So we might need a diagonal cutter and a screwdriver, so we have to bear that in mind. And these are the different mechanical parts lists. We're going to start building it tomorrow, right Lani? That's right Jabu. We will start with the main body. It's going to be fun. Hopefully we can figure it out. I hope so, uh, I hope so, Jabu. Yeah, me too. Okay. Let's open the stuff up. Take a closer look at all these pieces. All right, what have we got here? Aha, uh -huh. this looks like some sort of an engine. All gear apart, assembly. Here's some more of it. You can see. Wow, here's the solar panel. That'll give it the... Yeah, that'll give it the energy to move. 
Oh, cool. Some stickers. Yay, Jabu, I love my stickers. I know you do. Those are great stickers. Okay. And here is uh, the body part, looks like, mostly. This is A. You can see down here in the bottom, A. And the pieces are numbered. See, like this one is 9, 17. So we can see them. Wow. Okay. And then this would be B, I guess, hey? That's right. See the B up top there? Pieces numbered. One, two, three. So that's going to be fun. Wow, Jabba, this is going to be quite exciting to build, hey? I think so. There you go, boys and girls. This is the T3 Transforming Solar Robot. It's going to be a lot of fun to build. We're going to get to that tomorrow, right? That's right, Jabu. Don't know how long it'll take us. Maybe a couple of videos. Perhaps we'll have to wait and see. See how good the mummies and daddies are, hey? Hee <laughs> Jabu, that's right. Thanks for joining us. Come back tomorrow. We'll see how it goes, hey? Exactly. See you then. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Hello boys and girls, welcome to Jabba Lani's Playhouse, I'm Jabu, and I'm Lani, and today we're going to start building the T3 solar robots, right Jabu? We sure are, these are a lot of fun, and it transforms into a scorpion, a robot, and a tank, and it's all powered by the sun, right? It sure is Jabu, it's going to be a lot of fun, let's check it out, shall we? You betcha. Okay, so as you can see, we unpacked everything yesterday, you can have a look at that video if you want to check it out, and here's the manual. So this looks quite involved, but maybe half of it is in French or something, so maybe or not. Anyway, here we go. Let's take a look at it, shall we? There's the contents, the instructions. It's time to have some fun at the very end, right? To play with it. Dead right, Jabu. So it's transforming three sort of robots. Okay, and we had a read of that yesterday diagonal cutter and a screwdriver. So we have those. And these are the mechanical parts lists, okay. And we had a look at A and B. So now we're gonna build the main body. This might be the hardest part. This might take the longest, hey? So let's check it out, okay. Okay, Lani, let's start here. This is just the first page, page three. We're going to start building this. So this little gear here is the same each side. We're going to put this inside the gear. Here it's very small, but it fits, fits well. And maybe we'll just have it just up a little bit. There, that looks pretty good. And that's the uh, solar panel, as you can see. Okay, so this is this part is A5 and then A4 goes in like so with that little point on there. So we push it in and it clips in. Excellent. You can see there. And then we've got B14, so B is, a, B is the gray pieces. And we hold it kind of like this, so it's flat on the top and the grooves on the bottom. And this part is going to go in here, like so. Don't know how far. Because then this piece, which we hold up here with this groove on top, it's flat on the bottom, it's going to go in here. Clip in. There we go. Okay, interesting. This piece can move a little bit. Okay, so that's that piece. So pretty good. That was uh, page three, Lani. Now we do page four. Okay, so we've got these pieces. Then we're going to take this one. I'm going to turn it this way, upside down. And on these little grooves here, we're going to put these little pieces. I'm going to take off the... These are little, like, uh, sticky pieces, sticky pads, I guess. So maybe we can put it on each side. Okay. 
like so and then we can peel this off hopefully there we go do the same with this one this one goes over here oops sticky lani I see that jabu stick it down peel the, off, the other layer off because on this we're going to stick on the this piece here so it says to take off that plastic covering it's not a sticky piece I think it's just to protect it And then we've got these two pieces here. They're going to go on the left side. So we drop this through here, like so. Excellent. Okay. And then this is going to go over here on the sticky part. Oops. Like so, I think. Okay. Pull these out here. And just push that there gently to make it stick and then this one this piece goes on here with the tube fitting out it's going to fit into these little clips here like so interesting i don't think it's going to be the face very cool okay like so And then we have B2, it's going to go like this, and fit over here, just to the side. Cool, fits in nice and tight and snug. It does, Jabu. It's really clever, hey? Yeah, it's well made. Better made than the other toy we had, which was also supposed to be working on gears, right? But that one didn't work so well, did it? No, it didn't, Jabu. Okay. There we go. So, all right. So, we did that now. Come along slow, but this is kind of complicated, and it's the first one we've done, isn't it? We sure it's going to take us some time, but that's what we'll do, right? So we'll do step seven, eight, nine, then we'll come back to the other steps. Exactly. Okay, so we take B17 here, which is this one, because we put them in order, 17, 18, and then this is A17. So this one goes across like this, and we have it, the little circles on the bottom, and we've got to thread the wire from... Uh, turn it upside down like this so that that group pieces up like that and we've got to thread this wire here it's got to go see in there Lani down through there and up through here oh wow Jabu yeah but both of them have to get in there and so that's how we got to have them like that and then we clip this one on like so as you can see, that's going to clip into the holes there. Let's see if we can show you this, because those little studs have to clip in here. Make it nice and tight. Okay. Cool. So we've got that in there. And then we would, it wants us to push this through all the way to back here I think as far as it goes we have to be very gentle if we don't want to break the wires if we break the wires off here then it'll become a bit of a problem hey it's your will Jabu okay so I think that's pretty good that looks pretty good it's as close as we can get it without stretching the wires too much I think this has got a clip onto this part here there we go. Okay, good stuff. All right. And then this one, the little holes on top, you see it's 
smooth so the holes on top it goes in here like so it's tricky Jabu yeah it's quite tricky and it's got it sort of straight there like that so that's how we do that part so far and now we're on to page six so we'll do page six here now gonna be interesting Okay, I'm going to kind of do a similar spot with the other ones. All right. Okay, let's do this, Lani. So again, we do the same. So on this side, we take this piece, and we have to make sure we get both colors of wire into the grooves there, like so. Also need the red wire in there. Okay, like that, and then we put this piece on here. Make sure everything's looking. Whoops. Okay. If we put this down on the ground, it might be easier for us. Excellent. Right, and pull this through. We're going to join this here. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so we've got this big long arm. We put this aside and we take this big piece, which is A1. We hold it with this little handle up at the top on the right or towards the back as we put in the gear here. This gear is going to go, this rod I should say. Showing more pieces than they have. I wonder if it's going to go in here. I think it goes in here. And then this one goes on the outside. Like so. And then we're going to attach this here. So that's got to go in there. Okay. So that goes in there, Lani. I think it can move now, yeah. Okay, so that can move. Then we've got to wind this around, which is weird. Let's wind it around that little tube there. And then we've got to get each of these pieces, these wires, in through that little hole. It's incredibly difficult. We do one at a time. There's the one wire. Try to push this one in here as well. Okay, so we did it. Is this to keep the wires safe, maybe? Okay, so we got that like so. Now let's see where we go. This is quite complicated, job, but This is really takes a little bit of time and, and careful, um, careful looking, right? You really got to focus carefully, right? Exactly. Okay. Step 13 now. All right. Interesting. Okay, Lani, so this is getting a little 
tricky now. Still working on this piece here. I've got this little tube that goes up in the very top here. So you can spin around. And now, now we're going to put a yellow one, yellow gear, facing this way. Okay, well first this yellow gear has to get joined by this one. Oops, like so. It's going to be tricky because you can see this yellow gear. Whoopsies. So you put the yellow gear up there, like so. I don't know if you can see that line very well. And then we got to have this yellow gear over top of this one here. So it's kind of tricky. So we have to put this one here and fit it in there. Now they work together. I wonder. It'd be red, yellow, yellow, white. So that's how it's got to be. These gears aren't. Huh. They're not, they don't seem to be working together, so we're going to have to figure this out. See, that one moves. See, that one's going to be attached to that one. Okay, so that moves there. We slip this one in here. Okay, they are kind of moving. Gears are a little tricky. I'm not sure if it's going to work, Lanny, but we'll do our best here, I think. You can see they kind of take, but then they also don't. Hmm. Because these gears are tricky. They're kind of, they're, they're, they're in how they should be, they're just not, they're not sticking well together. We're going, well, I don't think there's much else we can do, Lani. I don't think so, Jabu. We have to do our best, hey? Yeah. Okay, and then this one, this one is going to have to fit here, I think. Took the wires back in there, and then we're going to join this one up to here. So this is tricky too. Nope, didn't work. Oi, oi, oi. Don't want to break it either. Okay. Oi, oi, oi. So, okay. Yeah, these toys are difficult, Lani. I think they might be quite difficult for the boys and girls. That's for sure. Now we've got to get this in here like so. So this will fit in there. This will fit in here. And in there, and this one in there. Hard to see. I don't want to go in there because it's not in there.
Okay, I think we got it. Okay, well, just best as we can do it, I think, Lani. Let me go put these little screws in. And the screw goes in here. See if we've got the right kind of screwdriver. You need a really small screwdriver here. Yeah, that's a good screwdriver. So let's see if we can screw this in here. Okay, tight. And put the other one in this hole. You can screw this one in too. Okay, it's pretty tight. I don't want to strip it because it's just plastic pieces. So. All right, so I think that's good now. Wow, it's very tricky, Lani. It's very tricky, Jabu, I can't tell. I know, we only got on page uh, seven. We've got a long way to go, but I think it's easier after this. So here's step 14. Okay, so this step 14 is just about manipulating these ones here. So we push. So see a push here. So this one comes out, I guess. There we go. That's going to be the head comes out. And then we fold this up here like that. And it should fit up over top here like so. I don't think it clips onto anything. Or does it? Pieces. This can fit on here. Kind of clip on in there. But. Yeah, I think that's how it's supposed to look. They look pretty good, hey? They look terrific, Jabu. We've got the body done. So that's very nice. Maybe this is a good time to take a break, hey? I think so. We'll take a break there, and we'll come back. I think we've done most of the hard work. So hopefully it'll get easier from here, boys and girls. Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it, Jabu? It sure was. It was very tricky. It took a lot of uh, mental um, uh, focus and everything to get it done. But I think we've done the hardest part now, which is the uh, engine and the gears. So hopefully it'll get better from now, right? That's right, Jabu. We should be faster. Maybe one more video or perhaps two at the most. Hey, exactly. And then we can see how it works with solar-powered robots, hey? So please come back and join us, boys and girls. Love to have you here. and We'll miss you until then. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Jabba Lani's Playhouse. I'm Jabo, and I'm Lani, and today we're going to continue building the transforming solar robot, aren't we? We sure are. It's been a lot of fun so far. It was a little tricky, the first part, but I think it'll probably go quicker now, right? What do you think, Lani? I think you're right, Jabu. It's a lot of fun, and now we just got some of the bigger pieces, so hopefully we can get it together quick, hey? You betcha. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so there you can see we've got the, the main part done here. So the body of the robot, if you will. And we screwed it in. You can see some of the screws there. And this is where we got to. Got onto page eight, right there. Okay, so there's page nine. And let's do page 10 as well. Okay, let's put on these pieces first. So on this little rod here, we need to put on these wheels. So on this side, which is, I'm not sure which side it is, but we've got the curve here. I'm gonna put the wheel on. So we get the piece sticking out like so. And on this side, the wheel sticks down like so. I'm going to turn the wheel like so. So it's turn, it's got the circular part down at the bottom. I see that, Jabu. And then on this side, then on this side, we turn it so that the wheel part is facing up, see? Ah! 
That's very clever, Jabu. Yeah. So the side, the circle is up. This side is down. Okay. Okay, we'll build some more now. On this side, I guess this would be the left side. If that's the face of the robot, I guess this would be the left side. It's got the uh, circle down at the bottom. We take this piece, turn it up like that, and it's going to go on these two pieces here. So I think that one goes in there, and this group goes in here. And then we put this little button in here. Push it in fairly firm. Okay. And then we put on this piece, like so. And it goes like up like that, like that. And then this piece. The long arm facing upwards. It's going to go on this piece, I think. That looks about right. And then we put this little screw piece in here as well. Get everything in. It's a little tricky. Let's see if we can get our little screwdriver here. Oopsie daisy. Drop, drop that in there. This is challenging, Lani. I see that, Jabu. Quite, quite challenging. There we go. Yeah, I've got it now. Maybe need a slightly bigger one. Okay, so let's get a bigger screwdriver here to get a little bit more torque in here so we can screw it in nice and firm. It doesn't seem to be doing much. Things kind of stripped now. Okay, well, the best we can do, Lani. I guess so, Jabu, that's okay though. Exactly. Now we're on to page 10. Okay, so do the same on the right side here, Lani. That's right, Jabu. Okay, that one goes in there. Let me put this little button in here. And then this one goes in here. And then this one. Up here, and then we put in the little washer and the screw. to fit in there. There we go. Okay, I think that'll do. Now we've got both sides the same, Lani. That's right, Jabu. I can see that. That's a great job. Yeah. Okay, so that was also a bit tricky. Hopefully it's getting easier now. Page 10. Oh, we're not finished yet. We're going to do upper arms. We're going to finish up with this part. Yay, we're starting the arms, Jabu! I know. Okay, so we're doing the upper arms. We have to do two of them. So we put this little piece here. This is the A piece. A8, we put it facing this way. And then this bigger piece, the B10, it goes on here, the side like so. And the smaller piece, which is B5, goes on there. Oops, this way. Joins in there and in there. Whoops. Cool. Need a little arm.
And then we do the same on the other side. So this one goes here. This one goes like so. And now we're finished on page 10, Lani. Yay, Dabu! We're going to move on now. It's coming along. And then right hand, left hand, and then we start with the legs. Wow. Okay, so here's the right hand. Put this one, B21, and it gets the little button on the top, like so. And this is the left hand, so maybe we should put these across the other way. So put left here, and then right on the other side. Makes sense, right? I think so, Jabu. That sounds good. And then onto the right leg. Okay, here we go. Take this piece, hold it up like that. Take the B7 piece here, and this hole at the bottom, see that circle at the bottom? It's going to go in here, like so. And we could clip on there, but it doesn't, we don't, it doesn't ask us to clip it yet, Lani. Then we shouldn't do that, Jabu. I know. Okay. And then we take A14, which is this piece. And we hold it like so. So we've got the circle at the bottom here. And it's going to join up here. There we go. Got that piece joined up. And then we push this forward. I guess to clip it in. Now we clip it in so that that's up almost parallel. And then we take B8, face it this way, like that. This is going to clip on the front here. Oopsies. Okay, got that. And then B13, which we hope open like that with a little shelf in there. This is going to clip in here. Okay, we put it up like that, and then this piece goes like so, somewhat like this, and then on the side here, where they got that little stripe, we attach this piece like so. Kind of clips in. There's the foot. Looks like a good foot, hey, doesn't it? It sure does, Jabu. That's page 12. Okay, let's carry on. We do the left leg. And then we've got robot mode. Wow, cool. Okay, time to build the left leg. We've got this piece again. Circles up there. And then this one goes over here like so. Kind of flip upwards, right? Can't put it on that way, I have to put it this way. And then we get A13. Fits in like so. Whoopsies. There we go. Like that. And then we clip this one up. Then this piece, I guess, looks like the shoe, doesn't it, Lani? It does, Jabu. So it goes in here, clips in. Can put that up like that for now. And then this one clips in here. And over crop top. And then on this side, we clip in this one again, right? Okay, we've got another shoe. Excellent. And now we can do robot mode, I think, because we finished with A. A is now all empty. We've got a couple of extra pieces in B, which will be used probably for the other modes, I imagine. That's right, Jabu. 
So let's look how we build robot mode. Okay, so we take the left leg and we put it on here, like so. This clips on here, as you can see. There we go. And then we attach the left leg up here. Clip it in there. Cool. And then we're going to do left hand and upper arm. So we decided this was the left, right? That right, Jabba, we did. Okay. So this one, you put it this way with a little handle at the bottom. And then this one, clip in here. It's the first clip in there. There we go, clips in. We've got that like so. And then we put his left arm. Okay, well, it wants us to move the arm like that, which is weird because now it's not hooked up on there anymore. But we put it in like so. Whoops. Okay, clipped on. Then we put the arm through like that. It's interesting because now it's not hooked up here. Follow the instructions, but this arm is like flipping around now, so I don't know. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. We'll carry on, right? That's right, we'll carry on and then see if we've made a mistake or not, right? Exactly. Okay, and then we're almost finished here. Okay, well, it says, I've got to flip this, insert it in like that. Okay. Did you see that, Lani? See, this was up like this, it's swinging around, but now we insert it. And we see how it goes into that hole over there too, right? So this will stabilize it. Excellent. Okay. I guess we didn't do it wrong, so that's good. Yay, Jabu! Now we do right leg. We need this piece. Now we've finished with this one too, so we've got all the pieces, I guess. Okay, so right leg, this goes this way, and this goes this way. Oops, nope, wrong way, so this goes like that, this goes like this. I'm going to fit this one up here. Just like the other one, right? See how it joined over there? This one will join over here. Clips in. Now the robot can stand, Lani. Yay, Jabba, I see that. It can stand. Now we've got to get the arms, right? So we hold the arm like this, facing that way. And then we put the first, the first little Clip not the second one in there. Make sure it clips in nicely. Excellent. And then we put this one up here like that. We also arrange it so this is facing forward now. We clip this on. Okay. And then we clip it in like that. See? How we did the last one. Okay, that wasn't. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Move this one forward. There we go. And this one in here. Okay. That the robot is ready. Did it, Lani? Wow, Jabu, we finally did it. We took a while, but we did it, hey? I know. Now we need some sunshine in order to be able to watch it move, hey? 
That's right. We don't have much sunshine today. We might have to wait for tomorrow to see how it works, eh? Exactly. But it looks terrific, doesn't it? Cool. There it is. Neat robot. Okay, what we should do is we should put in the stickers, right? That sounds good, Jabu. Okay, let's do stickers. So this little one A, the small little stickers, it's gonna go up here. I think it would have been easier to put the stickers on when we were still building it, Lani. I think so, Jabu, probably. Okay, now here's his eyes. Cool. Let's go up here. Oops. Good. Let's do this side now. Challenging. Okay, so we've got it all the way around. Okay, and then F. Also on the shoulder. along the forearm H is a little dot this is very tricky lots of little stickers here hey? I know, Jabu. It goes just over here, up there, an eye says leg as you can see, L leg, so that we know that this is left leg, whoops I'm getting a bit skew, oh well Jabu doing the best we can, I know, and then J, There and K is around the foot. A bit tricky. This one will go here. Super tricky, but we did it. That's right, Jabu, we did. And now we do the other side, right? Well, we've got C as well, so robot, so this one goes under here, I think. Cool. Well, 
All right, now we can move to the side. D goes over here. That's, no, I don't think that's right. It goes up in there. That'll do. It's hard to get in because we've got the things in the way. Now we've got E here. And E is on the shoulder line. That's right, Jabu. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, there's the shoulder. Nice. And then F is also the shoulder. The G is the forearm. Just following just as we did with the uh, left leg, right? That's right, Jabu, not so hard. Okay, cool. That was H. Now we do I, which tells us the right leg. See if we can put this one on straight. That's a bit better. Okay, we messed that one up. Oh well. <laughs> that was okay. We do the best we can, right? Exactly. And then we do K. Where is K again? Here it is. All right. Start from the side. Okay. Cross the shoe. Oopsies. Press the shoe and around the side. Good. Take a closer look at all the stickers, hey? And they look terrific. Sure does, Jabba, I love it. And some stickers are coming off too. But we did our best. We sure did, Jabba. It's tricky to do it like this. They should have they should have had the instruction to do it, so we put the stickers on the pieces before we joined them together, right? Exactly. See these stickers here. But it does make the robot look better, hey? It sure does, Jabu, I love it. Yeah, these stickers are. They might come off. We'll try sticking them on as best we can. Okay. Get the robot sticker. Cool. Looks like a good robot now. So we'll have to find some light and then we'll give it a try, hey? That's right, Jabu. And then we've got other stickers here for the different other modes, for Scorpion mode and for Tank mode, right? Exactly. We'll just go through those instructions, show the boys and girls how we do those. You have to actually uh, change it up a little bit. So we won't change it into Scorpion mode or the Tank mode, but this will just give the boys and girls an idea. We'll just show you them how it works, and then if they're interested, they can get their own toy, right? That's right, Jabu. And then they can build it into a tank or a scorpion, right? Exactly. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, lots of fun. Okay. There's the finished product. And there's stickers for the scorpion and tank mode. And it's time to have some fun. It shows you how sunny, full of energy, in-house. Need a 50 watt and up halogen bulb. So we'll see if we can find one of those. Let's see if we can get to work, eh? Hey? Yes, please. Cool. There we go. All right. 
Good times. It's in the sun, Jabu, but it's not moving. I know, Lamy. Maybe it just needs a little bit of time. We'll give it some time. Or perhaps the winter sun here in North America is not strong enough. Maybe, but it should still work, shouldn't it? I think it should. Let's give it a, a minute or two. This bright sun, Jabba, it's right in the bright sun. I know, Lani. It's still not moving, is it? No one has been here for a couple minutes already. That's right. Oh, well. I'm going to leave it here and see if it starts in a bit. If it doesn't, we'll let the boys and girls know that uh, maybe it's not quite as good as the toy looks like, eh? That'd be a real shame. I know it would. Okay, boys and girls, as you know, we tried our little robot here in the sun and it didn't work. I know, Jabba, we'd be a little bit disappointed with it, haven't we? We sure have. Not working well in the sun, so we decided to get a halogen bulb. As you can see, they wanted a 50-watt bulb. This is a halogen 60-watt, so this should be more than enough. And um, we'll put it in the light in the lamp here and then shine it on the robot and see if it'll work. If not, then I guess it's a busted toy, unfortunately, so we can't recommend the robot then, can we? No, Jabba, we can't really recommend it, even if it doesn't go in the sun, because the halogen bulb was expensive, wasn't it? It sure was for the mommies and daddies. It was like $15, so it's a lot of money just to see if you can get a toy to work. Anyway, let's try it out. Okay, we've got our lamp. Let's turn it on, Lani, see what happens. So that's a strong... 60 watt halogen bulb. There we go. Now it's working. Doesn't walk very fast, but it's moving a little bit, isn't it? It sure is, Jabu. And if we turn it off, it stops. Yay, Jabu, at least it worked. I know. Okay, boys and girls, there you go. So here you can see in the little lamp at the back here, I think it says. So it says it's time to have some fun on sunny, full energy, in-house, 50 watt and up halogen, try on me, cloudy, low power. So take outside under direct sunlight. Best results are obtained when operated on a sunny day, for indoor fun, use a 50 watt halogen light. The product will not run on a cloudy day, shaded locations, indirect sunlight, or under fluorescent lamp. And it probably won't also work um, on a sunny day through the window, right? That's right, Jabba, because we tried it. We had pretty, pretty good sun, but it wouldn't go, right? I know. Anyway, it appears to be working, so that's a lot of fun. And maybe we should have done this in the summer when we could take it outside, hey? I know, Jabu, but that was fun anyway. It's working. Yay! There you go, boys and girls. So we did get the robot to uh, work, which is good news. So it's not broken. That's right, Jabu. It does work, and uh, you need a really sunny day. So maybe winter in, in North America doesn't work, right? Maybe. Or maybe you need to take it outside in the sun and not through uh, the window. Because when we had it on the sun, it was through the window, but um, that didn't work. So the halogen bulb worked, which is fun. And maybe in the sun, in the summer, it'll work as well. That's right, Jabu. Anyway, glad to see it working. It's a lot of fun, and it's a fun toy, but I'm not sure we would recommend it still, right? Yeah, I'm not sure, because uh, it does need a lot of sunlight, I guess, powerful sunlight, and halogen bulbs are pretty expensive just to play with a toy. So I guess we would say, no, it was fun to build, but not something we recommend to our friends. That's right, Jabu. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye for now.